So I want to show you how to make your own tomato cages. So one of my fellow gardeners made his own tomato cages out of some extra fencing that he had. And I thought, let me see if I can do the same. So this is the final product here. I really like this because it is really light and at the same time, it's very sturdy. I ended up purchasing welded wire from Atwoods. I'm using 14 gauge, two by four, 48 tall, and 100 foot length. I wanted to buy a four by four opening, but I could only locate a two by four. Now they make a four by four opening, but it's in a lot thicker of a wire and it's just too heavy duty for what I'm going to be using it for. Be sure you have a good pair of uh, cable cutters because that's just going to make it go a lot quicker. So the way I size this opening is based off of this tub that I cut the bottom out of. So the bottom of this opening is about 19 inches. So to do the math you just take 19 inches times 3.14 and that gives you 60 inches which is the length of this circumference. What you want to do is lay your wire out on the ground like you see here. I put this garden hoe just to keep the wire off the ground when I go to cut. Also lay a tape measure out and I've got something heavy just to keep it weighted down when I pull it out. First you want to pull the wire out to the length that you need. Be sure to measure from the very end of the wire. Double check your measurement and go ahead and make your cut. I'm going to cut mine 4 inches longer because I want the wire to overlap when I put it together. Be sure that you stand on the wire so that it doesn't spring back and hurt you. So the way you want to cut your wire is at this point here. My wire measured 60 inches at this point and then I added 4 inches to help with the overlap. So what you want to do is cut it right below that next horizontal run of wire. That way you can take this tab and bend it over and make your attachment. Find an elevated place to put your cage together. Take your wire and overlap it to the first spacing. You can start in the middle or the outside. Take the extended pieces of wire and bend them back around the wire that it connects to. I do this in five locations. You can do it for every wire, but it's up to you. Here's the final product. I'll show you a video at a later date on how it does in the garden. Let me show you a quick modification I made for my tomato cage. So I needed a way to mount this into the ground and then also clear the path of where this irrigation line is. So here's my solution. What I did is I went ahead and cut this upper ring off, which you see here, I removed this all the way around and that left me these little spikes poking up and that's what I used to actually push this into the ground. And then I cut in two locations an opening for my irrigation line, one here and then one over there. Here's an update on the tomato cage. So as you can see, the plant is fully supported. It didn't grow above the cage, but it did grow out a little bit further. And even with that, the plant still had a lot of support. So I will say it was a little bit hard getting my hand inside here to pull tomatoes. If I had tomatoes a little bit bigger than these, then it would have been hard getting them out. What I could have done is gone in every so often and then cut out like a section here so that I had a four by four opening. It would have made it easier to get my hand in and to get tomatoes out. One other issue I had was that some of my plants grew taller than the cage itself. And on windy days, it would knock the cage over a little bit. So next time I'm gonna to plan to put a stake here and a stake down here on my last tomato cage and then run a rope along through the top so that uh, it supports the top of the cage. But if you don't have wind like we have here in Oklahoma, you're probably good with just sticking these in the ground. So here's how I remove the cage from the plant. What you wanna do is cut all these extremities of the plant back and then you can go ahead and yank the cage up. So I highly recommend not leaving these spikes standing out like this where your cage overlaps because they're gonna end up catching you in the garden and cutting you. Be sure to fold them back so that there's no catch points. The nice thing is that the cages come apart really easily and it makes it easy for storage. 